Hi, everyone, and welcome to another conversational English lesson. Well, actually, it's conversational and vocabulary. We're going to learn a lot of vocabulary in this lesson today. We're going to be looking at the questions, would you like and do you like? Do you know the difference between these two phrases, these two questions, would you like and do you like? Do you know how to use them in the proper way? Well, if I was to ask you, do you like coffee? What do you think I am asking? That's right. I'm asking you whether you like coffee, whether you like the taste of coffee, whether you like to have a coffee every day, every morning before you go to work, do you like that? Now, how does it change when I ask you, would you like coffee? Would you like coffee? Well, what I'm asking you is, would you like a cup of coffee right now? Can I get you one? Would you enjoy having some coffee right now? Is what I'm asking when I say, Would you like coffee? Do you like coffee? Yes, I, I love the taste of coffee. Would you like a coffee? Yes, I could enjoy a cup right now. Thank you very much. So you see the difference. To help us uh, really get this into our thinking clearly, let's take a look at a number of examples. First of all, let's look at the question, do you like? Do you like tea? Do you like tea? And of course, we should also maybe just take a look a little bit about how to answer the question. You might be visiting the home of a nice family that speaks English and you're just learning English and they might ask you, do you like tea? And you need to know how to answer, right? So it's either one of two things. You can either say, yes, I do like tea or no, I don't like tea. Or you might say, no, I don't really care for tea. And uh, so let's look at some others. Do you like candy? Do you like candy? Do you like popcorn? Do you like popcorn? Oh, yes, I really enjoy popcorn, you might answer. Yes, I do like popcorn. Or, no, I, I don't really like popcorn. It gets stuck in my teeth, you might say. <laughs> I don't like popcorn. Do you like chocolate? Do you like chocolate? Maybe let me know in the comments below. Do you like chocolate? I think most people like chocolate. For me, I like the chocolate that is very bitter, that hasn't had any sugar added to it. I just like the pure chocolate that just comes right from the tree. Did you know that chocolate grows on trees? I've been to... Uh, many places in Africa where the chocolate is growing on the trees. Of course, it has to be processed and uh, sweetened usually for most people. But I like the bitter type of chocolate. Do you like chocolate? Do you like Coke? Do you like Coke? I've traveled to many countries in this world, and everywhere I go, Coke is there. It's just everywhere, and people seem to really enjoy Coke. One thing that people often ask is, do you like Coke or Pepsi? Do you like Coke or Pepsi? 
Are you a Coke person or a Pepsi person? Do you like sports? Do you like sports? Do you like animals? Do you like animals? Are you a person that really likes animals? Do you like going to the movies? Do you like going to the movies? Yes, I really like going to the movies. Yes, I enjoy going to the movies. Do you like reading books? Do you like reading books? In English, we have a word called a bookworm. A bookworm. That's somebody who just loves to curl up in a corner and read a book for hours. And when they're finished one book, they might just pick up another book. Do you like books? I told you that this would be a vocabulary lesson, didn't I? Not just conversational English. We're learning some vocabulary today. Do you like shopping? Do you like shopping? Some people just love to go shopping. Myself, I'd rather just get what I need on the internet. Uh, Amazon.com is my go-to website when I need to get something. But other people just love to go to the store and shop, go to the mall and shop and shop. We have a saying in English, she likes to shop till she drops. Shop till she drops. Do you like hiking? We had a video recently about hiking and all of those things that you can see <laughs> when you go hiking. If you haven't checked out that video, that's a good one to, to take a look at. Do you like hiking? Do you like the beach? Do you like the beach? It's another lesson we had recently. All the fun things that you can do at the beach. Do you like to travel? Do you like to travel and visit other parts of your country or maybe visit other countries and cultures and see the beautiful sights and meet the wonderful people in other countries? Do you like to travel? Do you like to cook? Do you like to cook? Yes, I do like to cook. Or no, I don't like to cook. No, I don't like to cook. Do you like to eat out at a restaurant? Or you could just say, do you like to eat at restaurants? Do you like to eat out? We say in English here in Canada, do you want to go out to eat? Go out to eat? Well, these kinds of questions help us to get to know each other when we're meeting someone for the first time. We can ask all kinds of questions like this. Uh, if you haven't seen it, we have another lesson on easy questions that you can ask people when you first meet them. See if you can find that. And by the way, a lot of people who find our videos uh, may not realize that we have many videos that you can watch, not just this one. <laughs> If you check just below the video here, you'll see uh, a, a, a circle with a photograph in it. Just click on that and that will take you to our channel. And there you will see 
hundreds of videos that you can watch to learn English, to help you learn English. So check it out. And if you haven't already done so, it's a good idea to subscribe to the channel so that you can uh, be notified each time we release a new lesson. Now, what about those times when you want to ask somebody if they would like to have something right now? Or maybe you're visiting in the home of a friend who speaks English and they ask you the question, would you like? Remember, there's a difference between do you like and would you like. When someone asks you, would you like a coffee? They're not asking you, do you like to drink coffee? They're asking, would you like to have a coffee right now? Do you want me to get you a coffee? Do you want uh, cream and sugar in your coffee? <laughs> so, would you like... They're asking you if you would like to have a coffee right now. Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Now, when they're asking you these questions, a lot of times they might add some extra words. So don't be surprised if you hear something like, Would you like a cup of tea? A cup of of tea. And that simply means, would you like a cup full of tea? You take it, a cup and fill it with tea, and then you have a cup of tea. They might ask, would you like some tea? Would you like some tea? And that's just the same as asking, would you like tea? Can I get you some tea? They might ask. Can I get you some tea? If you are in England, they might say something like, Would you like a spot of tea? Would you like a spot of tea? And I know that that's not the normal definition of a spot, but... Uh, Different countries use English a little bit different way, and that's just a word that they have come to use for a little bit of tea. Would you like, rather than say a cup of tea, they might say, would you like a spot of tea? And of course, they would probably say it a little different than I am saying it right now. They might say something like, would you like a spot of tea? Would you like a spot of tea? And that's the British accent. Well, I'm probably not doing a very good job of the British accent, but it'd be something like that. Would you like a spot of tea? Would you like candy? Or would you like some candy? Would you like some popcorn? Would you like some popcorn? Would you like a chocolate? Would you like a chocolate? Or they might say, would you like some chocolate? Would you like to have some chocolates? They might say, would you like to have a chocolate bar? Lots of different ways to add words to these questions. Would you like some cake? Would you like some cake? Would you like a Coke? Would you like a Coke? Can I get you a Coke? We might say in English, can I get you a Coke? It simply means, can I run to the kitchen and get you a, a bottle of Coke? or a, a glass of Coke. They might first of all ask you, can I get you something to drink? Can I get you something to drink? That's often a question um, that people will ask when they don't know what kind of drink the people uh, like. And so instead of stopping to say, do you like tea? Do you like coffee? Do you like fruit 
juice? Do you like uh, a Coke or soft drink? Well, they might simply ask, can I get you something to drink? And if you say no, then they leave it and they move on with the conversation. Uh, it's probably more polite to say, no, I'm fine, thanks. I'm fine, thanks. Rather than just say no. Um, it's more polite to say, no, 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 I'm fine, thanks. Uh, but if you say, yes, I would enjoy something to drink, then they might ask you, what can I get you? What can I get you? What kind of drink would you like? Can I get you a fruit juice? And then what they expect you to come back with is uh, a choice or something that you would like to drink. And uh, sometimes the most polite answer is, oh, just a glass of water, please. Just a glass of water will be fine. Just a glass of water, thank you. And uh, that way it's the easiest thing that they can get. Would you like to eat? Are you hungry? Would you like something to eat? Would you like to eat? Now, here's something that might come up for you at the office. It's getting close to the end of the day. And one of your friends at the office uh, sees that you're wrapping things up and you're ready to go. They might ask you, hey, would you like to go out and get a bite to eat? <laughs> would you like to get a bite to eat. And the first time you hear that, it might be a little bit confusing to you. These are some of these idioms that we have in English that when you just translate it word for word literally, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And uh, if you would like to learn some of these English idioms that can't be translated very well, we have a whole playlist. Again, if you just look at the uh, the photo in a circle below this video and click on that, and then in the menu at the top of the channel, one of the things will be playlist. And just click on that and look for English idioms. And we have about 50 English idioms that you can learn. And you'll find that to be very helpful if you memorize all of these English idioms. Would you like to get a bite to eat? And uh, it might be, do you want to go grab a bite? Do you want to go grab a bite? What they're simply asking is, would you like to go out to a restaurant to get something to eat uh, together? And you can spend some time getting to know each other more as you uh, share a meal together at a restaurant. Would you like to grab a bite? Would you like to go to the movies? <clears throat> Would you like to go to the movies? Would you like to go to the football game? Would you like to go to the football game? Would you like to go to the beach? We're going to the beach this weekend. Would you like to come? Would you like to go to the beach? Would you like to go shopping? Would you like to go shopping? The last one I thought you might find interesting, and maybe you have heard this already from one of your English-speaking friends as you... Uh, settle in a new country, someone might ask you, would you like to go on a date? Would you like to go on a date? And a date can have a couple of different meanings. It can be a day on a calendar, right? It can be a, a fruit that you eat. Do you like dates? I, I really like dates. 
They come from the palm trees. There are a certain variety of palm trees, date palms. I love dates. But when someone asks you, would you like to go on a date? What it means is that they want to know if you would like to do something together. And it usually means that they like you and they want to get to know you better by spending some time together with you. And so you find a time, a day, and I think that's why it's called a date. You, you choose a day and a time when both of you are free and you set an appointment, an arrangement that you're going to meet at that time on that day at maybe a restaurant or maybe go to the movies or to a fun park or to the beach. It's a date where the two of you are going to spend some probably alone time and uh, have a chance to get to know each other a little better. And so if someone asks you, would you like to go on a date? Just know that they're asking if you uh, have enough interest in them that you would like to get to know them better to see if you could become closer, more special friends, a romantic uh, friendship. That's what they're really asking you. And when it's a first date, it doesn't have to be that serious. That's what first dates are all about, is to find out whether you have common interests and uh, would likely enjoy each other's company. Uh, and so don't be too alarmed if someone asks you, would you like to go on a date? If you think that they're a nice person and you might be a little bit interested in them as well, then... If you feel safe, it's a good uh, opportunity to spend some fun time together and get to know each other better. And a lot of the questions that we learned the, in this lesson are questions that you could ask uh, each other to find out uh, if you have common likes and interests. Well, that's our lesson for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if so, give it a like and uh, share it with your friends who might also be learning English. And if you haven't yet done so, I invite you to subscribe to our channel so that uh, you won't miss any lessons that uh, are coming down the pike. We have many more planned for you here at this channel. And uh, so stay tuned and we'll be back. See you next time. So long for now.